friends today i am back to my natural classroom so i am feeling very happy being very natural with you today and today's discussion is about a very important part of language is it is most awaited by my students we shall discuss about the time and tense and think about the need of time and tense in a sentence as i always tell you we listen speak read and write and central to a language is a sentence and without the time of action or the time of a state we cannot make a sentence means each sentence contains an action in uh, grammar we say it is the verb word and there must be a correlation between the verb form of the sentence and the time of action or time of state so first of all let's uh, go to the time and when we think about the time you see that we don't have any idea about the origin of time when actually time origin its mystery the history of time is mysterious so we can easily understand about the indication to the present time think it's the now time everyone of us know the now time where we are now i am talking to you now and this is called your present time i introduced about the need of necessity of learning time and tense just a minute back what is the time the time is the time before now and there is also another type of time that today i am going to discuss about the time and tense in detail in 15 or 20 minutes what is the time the time is after now so there are also names of these two types of time how this is the present time because this is present we are at the present time and the time that is already gone before now that is the past time and the time that will come in future the time that is not come yet that's called the future time and very interestingly there was a video i think you might have uh, watched that video about the f u t u r e the spelling n a t u r e someone pronounced it n a t u r e nature and f u t u r e future anyway uh, it was a joke so there are three types of time the time where we are now a step ahead is future where we are now at the present time and a step back is the past time and you might have experienced in your own life about these three types of time and it is a universal concept let's know about the tense so when we talk about the tense 
we may take three sentences my dear friends my dear children number 1 is obi is playing badminton now so in this sentence you see that there is a verb is another verb is playing and the sentence number 2 kunal was playing with him yesterday here also was is a verb and playing is another verb word two verb words are here and in sentence number 3 you see that kartik will play with them tomorrow and here also will and play so let's know actually how can you know the tense of the sentence obi is playing badminton now you see the verb auxiliary verb the helping verb is it says that yes i am in present tense next we will see that how verb has different forms the first form is is the second form is was and the third form is been is was been so is is in present form or in the present tense so we can say that this is in present tense and come to sentence number 2 kunal was playing with him yesterday he also you see was and playing playing the verb word does not say the tense because here playing was in present and here playing means past the is verb or the was here the auxiliary verbs they tell about the tense here again because was is past tense the past tense of am is was the past tense of is is was that's why was is the past tense verb and last one is very interesting kartik will play with them tomorrow so traditionally when there was a question about this sentence the tense of this sentence it was again not future future it was future tense traditionally but so long as the modern english grammar is concerned let's know what is the tense of this sentence here will play and when the verb will comes it's a modal verb as you know will would shall should may might can could in the same format will is a modal verb and here also you see that there is the past form of will that is the would most of the speakers most of the teachers they say that modal has no tense but here you see that how can could could is the past form of can like would is the past form of will so it is the present tense let's go to the time very briefly abir is playing badminton now you know it is the present time now the word now indicates the present time the present time was expressed with the help of present tense and here kunal was playing with him yesterday the time is already gone is not with us now it's the past time and the past time is expressed with the help of past tense and here the tomorrow the word itself kartik will play with them tomorrow the word tomorrow tells you that it's the future time the time that will come but it was expressed with the help of the present tense at the end of the class today we will see that whether past will past tense will say about the past time present tense will say about the present time or something else friends there is always a debate about the future tense uh, is the modern english grammar says there is no future tense it's a time or it's a sense so let's have a discussion about the verb forms actually tense is the form of a verb and let's have a discussion about the different forms of a verb 
and form in the first form as you know right that is the present form and the second one is root sometimes it becomes root and it is the past form and we use that same for in past participle form by writing written and present participle then so in form writing and in present indefinite or present simple third person singular number we add s es or is to the base form of the verb so basically these are the five forms of the verb and there is no future form anyway when uh, we come to the definition of tense as you know i have already told you time is the universal concept we have nothing to do with that we don't know the origin as i indicated to with a with an arrow we don't know when the time will end our time will end and what is tense tense is the relation between form of verb and time of action or state a verb may have an action teaching play i'm here this uh, am verb tells you a state so when you think about the uh, relation between the form of the verb and the time of the action which builds up the relationship that's called the that's called the tense and in my classes and in most of my classes my dear children i might have told you that tense is the sense of a sentence because without the building of relationship between the form of the verb and the time of action or time of state it don't have any meaning it becomes meaningless that's why it becomes senseless and tense is the sense of a sentence and come to the last part of our discussion today that how one tense or even one aspect of the tense expresses different types of time let's take an example the same tense but different time come to number 1 i want a cup of tea our exam starts next week the sun rises in the east all these sentences i have written in present simple form present indefinite form subject plus first form of the verb and sun rises again the fifth form verb plus s or es all these sentences belong to the present simple but think about the first sentence i want a cup of tea it's tell you about the present time our exam starts next week it tells you about the future time but the song rises in the east it belongs to all times it related to yesterday it related to the present day today and also it relates to tomorrow so the same sentence even same aspect of tense may also express different types of time that is present past and future as yes, there is a debate always about the future how it is not a tense it's a time let's discuss that how can we express the future for the future time anupama will reach home late tonight it's about the future time and when we use such a type of sentence na when we want to give any information about the future let's go to sentence number 2 the train leaves station at 2 pm today it's also about the future time but the future time is expressed with the help of present simple and when we use such a type of sentence na when the future action is on time table 
कम टू थर्ड नायरा इज हैविंग ए पार्टी नेक्स्ट वीक दिस इज ऑल्सो अबाउट द फ्यूचर टाइम नेक्स्ट मिस्टी इज गोइंग टू अटेंड द पार्टी इट्स ऑल्सो अबाउट द फ्यूचर टाइम एंड दिस टू टाइप्स ऑफ सेंटेंसेस दे आर यूज टू टॉक अबाउट द फ्यूचर फैन इट इज ए प्लान फ्यूचर एक्शन एंड द सेकेंड वन मिस्टी इज गोइंग टू अटेंड बी गोइंग टू बी गोइंग टू फॉर्मूला usually we use such a type of sentences in conversation and come to the last part we use the future progressive i shall be writing future perfect i shall be written when the work is in progress we use future progressive when the work will have completed we use the future perfect and all the sentences they talk about the future time in this way we use the future time as i told you it's a great debate about the tense and time specifically tense with this brief time i think you might have understood in the next classes we'll discuss something more about the formulas how can we use the tense that i have learned from my father the golden formula subhanastras coming soon and some of the students they told me over phone that they don't get it please go to my class in youtube and subscribe it and just to write there is a bell icon press the bell icon so that when i upload an english class immediately you will get the notification that's all for today take care bye bye